Yo guys, what's up? It's Solify and welcome back to the newest Call of Duty commentary on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about standards and the community in general. I come from the designer side, but I've also been around other parts of the community, such as competitive. I do sniping now, I've done trick shotting, I kind of dabble in a little bit of everything. Other than editing, which I'm basically getting into now making videos, I don't like standards nowadays. You have to get a certain amount of headshots, you have to get a certain amount of people. I think the community should go back to the way it was in around 2011, 2012. Whenever we just played for fun, if a clip was cool, it was cool. We put it into a montage, we liked it, people liked it, we enjoyed it. We didn't set a standard and had to get other people to rise to it. But I do understand that with teams and stuff, they're becoming businesses such as FaZe. FaZe is a really big team now, so they have to have a standard for people that join. You can't just let anyone join. I think for the day-to-day -day player, day-to-day -day sniper, smaller teams, that everything should be about fun, but also kind of have a standard of clips. Just kind of mash the both together the best way that you can. I don't know how that would be, so I'm just throwing out my opinion on all this. When it comes to personality standard, I want personality to stand out more than just anything like clip wise uh, if you get a cool clip and you have a personality that's really cool you can throw that in there as long as your video is entertaining i'm gonna watch it i'm sure other people will watch it too if you watch people like jeff jeff doesn't always hit clips but sometimes he does his personality is there he has a good flow with his voice Everything follows up to par with his editing and the way he reacts to things. If you guys watch his Mortal Kombat series, he reacts to stuff like that. That's not Call of Duty. People still enjoy it, and I think that it's really awesome. I love Call of Duty, don't get me wrong. That's where my roots are. This is what I've been playing for a really long time. But I've also played Halo. I dabble in Minecraft a little bit, just screwing around, killing pigs. I also play games like Assassin's Creed. Oh my god, my name is Pinky, whatever your goddamn name is. I can't even get the trip up to me. So goddamn much, and it's so good. Cause I kill less and don't chick stuff for goddamn less. Okay. Let's kind of switch up topics real quick though. Let's get down to paying for team spots. It, if you guys know, L7 was recently exposed, well actually just a little while back, was exposed for selling roster spots or a certain person selling roster spots. I honestly think that that ruins teams and gives the community a really bad name. People are making it all about the money. It should be more about the players and just having fun with a team, a group of guys, girls, people in general. They just have fun, play together, make montages, things that look cool. In my side where I've been a designer, I think that designers should help one another, not strictly make everything competition. Yeah, there is money in it, but like I said, selling roster spots kind of degrades a team. It makes it look like it's all about the money. Basically, people that have money are the ones that are going to get in. You don't have to have clips, you don't have to have personalities. And I'm sorry to say it, but unless you're a big team and you have staff, then staff is not really needed. I get that you can share videos around, but if you have friends that are willing to share your videos, then you have no reason for staff. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say about this topic. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.